Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and today we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions about Photographer. I've been using Photographer uh, ever since it was released in 1986, and then in 1995 I became the senior tech support engineer for Photographer, and I've heard about every question that could be asked about Photographer. So, on the list today, the first question that I get is what is Photographer? Now, a photographer is a font editor. A font editor uh, means that you can actually manipulate a font and change the characters, add new characters. Perhaps uh, you might want to add your boss's signature or company logo or some artwork you created and you want to turn it into a font. Uh, maybe you'd like to convert the font from a type 1 to a true type. Uh, perhaps you bought a, a font and you didn't have the money to buy the whole family. So if you bought the uh, just the regular uh, family member, you could actually convert uh, the characters into the bold and italic. So for whatever reason you bought Photographer, uh, it has a reputation of being very easy to use. It has a very uh, simple interface to learn and it does everything that any other font editor can do except for things like very crisp appearance of very small uh, true type fonts or you might uh, say uh, things like large format fonts that have 20,000 something characters uh, also open type fonts to add the open type features to a photographer created font is kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, but still, Photographer continues to have a what is known in the industry as a cult following. And so, what's not to love about it? Okay, now for frequently asked question number two. Since I already can manipulate fonts in my favorite drawing program, why do I need Photographer? Well, we already know what you're thinking here. As you can take a font, Illustrator and you can go ahead and convert to outlines and then you can play with those shapes there in uh, Illustrator but think about it this way what if you're in Excel and you had a font that you created right here on the menu and all you had to do was use that font in an Excel spreadsheet Excel is not exactly the most convenient place to put an EPS file. So there are reasons why you'd want to use a font sometimes rather than an EPS. Not to mention the fact that uh, if you're working on a team project, everybody on the team could have the same font. And you also get a smaller file size when you're using a font than you do an EPS. Okay, question number three. Can I assign characters to any keystroke I want in a font? And the short answer is yes. What I've done here is change the Fontographer screen to, as you can see here, view by the keystroke. So I would say as long as you know what you're doing, uh, there's not a problem. If you don't know what you're doing, my best suggestion would be to um, open an existing font that uses the characters in the uh, keystrokes that you were expecting and then just paste your characters in place of the uh, other fonts characters and rename it and generate it. By the way, Photographer also does print out a key map so that you can give it to users and uh, then they'll be able to know what uh, keystroke goes where. Okay, next question. Will Photographer allow me to adjust the character spacing for the entire font? Of course it will. You can come up here to the metrics window, do auto space or auto kern. And if you want to get a more granular control, you can come into our little metrics window and kern things manually. Here's a good question. Can Photographer create fonts based on the other fonts in my system? Sure. You can do things like change the weight of a font. You can do a lot of transformations 
and all of these transformations can be applied to the entire font at the same time. Another thing that you can do is blend two fonts together. Next on the list, can Frontographer be used to create foreign language fonts? No problem. Here you see a Burmese font in Frontographer. Most of the fonts that you use or have seen that are foreign language fonts in the world were created with Frontographer at one time. Um, it's just going to be a simple matter of knowing where to put the characters. Once again, if you're not sure what you're doing, you could always open an existing foreign language font and paste your characters in the positions that uh, you find in that font and go ahead and rename it and save it and in generate it and install it. Here's a good one. Can Photographer import my artwork from programs like Freehand and Illustrator? Of course it can. Uh, we would use the EPS format and uh, you can see a tutorial on that. Uh, on our video uh, tutorial page about importing artwork into Photographer. In most cases you should be able to use the clipboard to do this. Now that the next question that follows is can I export uh, anything from my font to uh, be used in a uh, desktop publishing program? The answer is yes. You just come here and go File, Export, EPS and you're done. Well, to summarize the question of why Fontographer, uh, we're going to say that Fontographer may be the easiest to use font editor you ever owned. Type tool takes a little more getting used to, but it is the least expensive of our products. And then FontLab Studio is the mother of all font editors. It does everything you could ever want out of a font editor, including uh, delta hinting, uh, which is preserved and uh, complex large format fonts, easy to create open type fonts, etc. So really what it all comes down to is a matter of what is your comfort zone. Uh, professional font uh, creators actually use a combination of different font editors sometime to They'll do something in one editor that they're more comfortable with and then they'll process the results in another font editor. So it really is a matter of uh, what is the, the product that you're most comfortable with. As always, let us know uh, if you have any other topics you'd like to see covered in these tutorials. And this is the Fontmeister for now signing off.